Hi, and welcome to our presentation. We are going to show you some of the experience that the Gilbert School lived. Our group is composed by Julian Bolaño, Sebastián Narváez, Sofía González, and Natalia Ibarra. We hope you enjoy and learn from the presentation. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. To start with the topic, we want to present the main events of Frank and Lillian. Frank Gilbert. Frank Bunker Gilbert was an American engineer, consultant, and author now as an early advocate of scientific management and a pioneer of time, human factors, and motion study of industrial engineering. He was born in Fairfield, Maine, United States, in 1868, and his parents were John Hiram and Martha Gilbert. He had no formal education beyond high school. His father worked in a hardware store, but died when Frank was just three years old, and his family moved to Boston, Massachusetts. After high school, Frank got a job as an apprentice bricklayer, later as a building contractor, then became an inventor and finally an engineer. Later, he was a professor at Purdue University. He married Lillian Evelyn Mull on October 20, 1904 in Oakland, California. They had 12 children of 1-11 live. Gilbert showed interest in being an engineer while working as a contractor when he thought of faster and easier ways to lay building bricks. This resulted in a study he conducted in collaboration with his wife, Lillian, on manufacturing and employees in all kinds of industries to find ways to increase profits and make his job easier. Eventually, he and his wife founded the consulting firm Gilbert Inc. with a focus on business. They also participated in the development of the design for Simon's Hardware Company. The architects had specified that hundreds of 20-foot concrete blocks would be installed to allow the soft ground to support the weight of 2 million bricks to construct the building. In this way, the time and motion approach would be applied to the construction and transportation of bricks. Gilbert is noted to have served in the United States Army during the First World War. His job was to find faster and more efficient ways to assemble and disarm weapons. He reduced this task to 17 basic moves. He called these moments terrorists. He used a film camera calibrated in a fraction of minutes to study the even the smallest movements of the works. It is noted that the Gilberts were about all saints who tried to teach managers that all aspects of a workplace need to be constantly questioned and improvements need to be made. Gilbert was the first to propose carry positions to a surgeon who has holding surgical instruments properly. He also devised standard techniques used by armies around the world to teach recruits how to arm and disarm weapons in complete darkness. The work of the Gilberts left a great legacy and is constantly associated with that of Frederick Taylor Duhem, to its similarities in optimism process. Despite this, the Gilberts saw that their approach was concerned with the welfare of workers, compared with the Taylorims, in which the same workers perceived the activities from profit. In carrying of the moms to work nethood, they found that the key to improving work efficiency was to reduce unnecessary moments. 
Not only were some movements unnecessary, but they also caused workers' fatigue. They had efforts to reduce fatigue, including resuding movements, redesigning tools, placing parts, and adjusting the gates of desks and benches. So they began to develop standards for workplace. Lillian Gilbert. On the other hand, we have Lillian Gilbert, who was born Lillian Evelyn Muller on March 24, 1878, in Oakland, California. She was the oldest of nine children. Gilbert's father did not believe that woman should attend college. She convinced him, however, to let her enter the University of California and live at home, continuing to care for her sister. She studied modern language and philosophy, and her goal was to teach English. In 1903, Gilbert took a break from her studies to travel abroad. She stopped first in Boston, where she met Frank Gilbert, this correspondent throughout the mail for 10 months after they met, and they were married on October 19, 1904. They will have 12 children. Their goals and personalities influenced each other so strongly that both of their careers were redirected into new areas. The mental and physical uh, health of workers was when largely neglected and Lillian Gilbert became increasingly interested in her coursework work as she recognized her potential contributions. Her doctoral studies shifted from literature to psychology. For more than 40 years, Gilbert's career combined psychology with the study of scientific measurement and engineering. She also included her perspective as a wife and mother in her research, writing and consulting work. Gilbert became a pioneer in what is now known as industrial and organizational psychology. She helped industrial engineers recognize the importance of the psychological dimensions of work. In addition, she became the first American engineer ever to create a synthesis of psychology and scientific measurement. Gilbert introduced the concept of, of using psychology to study management at the Dartmouth College Conference of Scientific Management in 1911. He made significant and innovative contributions to engineering industrial as they are. First, Frank and Lillian Gilbert's belief in regulation and consistency in the workplace rather than encouraging a company of many working parts. They valued efficiency above all else. Number two, they drew up a model of administrative work, which he called work progress. Three, he demonstrated the importance of the use of statistics in administration to achieve continuous improvement of the work method, which in the last century was presented as a new idea. The study of basic movements. Frank proposed and developed a series of basic movements for the effective per performance of any task. These are 17 and each one represents a scenario and the action to take to overcome it. Each one contains in itself an action that must be attached to the internal workflow of the company of the industry. We hope you have liked our presentation and learned a little. Goodbye!